It's normal standard procedure on a panel drawing to add balloons to your components. So your footprints have little balloons coming off of them, referring to the table over here on the drawing. So let's have a look at some existing balloons. If I zoom in, you can see, look, 4 and 10. So that indexing motor stop button has the numbers 4 and 10 because they're the panel footprints that make up that particular indexing motor stop button. So if I zoom out, zoom in down here, you can see that we have a red pilot light on our new Enclosure 001. So if I just pan across now to the table, we can see there, if I zoom in a notch, number 8 on the table there is our red pilot light. Now, obviously, the table's going to highlight every time I go over it because it's an AutoCAD table. So it will highlight with the column numbers and obviously the row numbers there. I'm just going to zoom out again. We now know that our red pilot light is item number eight. I'm going to zoom in on the pilot light here. And what I want to do now is add a balloon. Now, we're still in the Demo 15 project. We're still in the drawing Demo 08, just so that you know. We haven't changed any of that at all. We're just going to add a balloon to this particular red pilot light here. Now you can do this in two ways. You can use the ribbon or you can use the mouse. On the ribbon, it's very easy. You go to the panel tab, insert component footprints panel here, and there's the balloon command right there. So that inserts a balloon containing the item number of a selected component. Very, very easy to do. The quicker way is to select the component, right click, and you get the insert balloon option there and then. So I click there, and now it asks for the leader start point. Make sure you've got your object snaps on, and I'm going to use the midpoint snap of that side there. Click, and as I come away, you'll see the leader line start to appear. I'm going to come up to here, click, make sure that polar tracking is on so you get a nice little horizontal leader there, and then click one more time. Then press enter, and it will prompt you now for the information. Now we know what the manufacturer is, it's picked that up from the catalogue listing there. We need to give the item a number. Now I can go to a list from the drawing or a list from the project or just use the next number in the list, which in this case is one. We know it's item number eight because we've looked on the table. I then click on OK and item number eight goes straight in that balloon. That's how quick and easy it is to utilize the balloon function in your panel drawings in AutoCAD Electrical.